my name is Kylie and welcome to World Trip Europe. In this video, you'll learn some amazing facts about the countries within the popular continent of Europe. Let's fly across the ocean to Europe. Our world is so large, it had to be divided into seven geographic regions called continents to make it easier for us to talk about the countries within them. The seven continents of the world are North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. In this video, we'll focus on Europe. Be sure to watch our other videos to learn about the other six continents. Europe is the second smallest continent in the world. Located entirely in the Northern Hemisphere and mostly in the Eastern Hemisphere. This continent is not surrounded by water in all directions like some of the other continents. It actually borders on land with the continent of Asia. However, there are bodies of water surrounding Europe. The Arctic Ocean in the north, the Atlantic Ocean to the west, and the Mediterranean Sea to the south, and the Black Sea to the southeast. It is believed that the word Europe came from Europa, the name of one of Zeus's wives in Greek mythology. Some of the world's greatest empires came straight out of Europe. The Roman Empire, the British and Spanish Empires, and the Russian Empires. There are 51 countries in Europe and six geographic regions. Central Europe, Eastern Europe, Northern Europe, Southern Europe, Southeastern Europe, and Western Europe. Let's look at the countries within each region. Let's begin with Central Europe. The climate in this area typically features warm summers and cool winters. The white-tailed eagle, the long-eared bat, and the European wildcat are found in this part of Europe. Let's look at the countries found within Central Europe. Austria known for its mountain railways and trains, and it is considered to be landlocked, which means that it is a country that does not have access to an ocean because it is entirely surrounded by land. Croatia, the Czech Republic, Germany, a popular travel destination in Europe, where you can visit the Neuschwanstein Castle, Hungary, and Liechtenstein, another landlocked country located between Austria and Switzerland. In fact, Liechtenstein is double landlocked because its surrounding countries are also landlocked. Then we have Poland, Slovakia, Slovenia, and Switzerland, a country where 60% of the area is mountainous and features many of the highest mountains in Europe. In this part of Europe, the Germanic and Slavic languages are spoken, so you can hear German, Croatian, Polish, Slavic, and Czech in this region. The countries within Eastern Europe are Armenia, which is actually located in the continent of Asia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Moldova, and Russia, which is the largest country in the world. Russia is also home to the largest city in Europe, which is Moscow. Finally, in this region, we find Turkey and the Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Turkey are transcontinental countries, which means they are part of different continents. In this case, they are both in Europe and Asia. The Slavic languages are the most commonly spoken languages in Eastern Europe, where you can hear Russian and Ukrainian. However, you can also hear Armenian, Arabic, and Turkish in this region. In Northern Europe, we find a subarctic climate, similar to the climate in Western Alaska and in the northern parts of the USA. Winters are long, cold, and harsh, and summers are short and cool. Animals in this region include elk, reindeer, owls, brown bears, and polar bears, the walrus, and these spectacular puffins. Let's look at the countries within this region. Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, which are also known to be the Scandinavian countries, Estonia, Finland, Iceland, Latvia, and Lithuania. The United Kingdom is also considered to be part of Northern Europe. 
This is a popular place for tourists where you can visit Big Ben and the Buckingham Palace in the capital city of London. The Germanic languages are spoken in Northern Europe, including Danish, Dutch, English, and Swedish. Next, let's move down to Southern Europe, where the winters are rainy and the summers are hot and dry. In this region, you can find badgers and owls and a variety of fish. In Southern Europe, we find Albania, Andorra, which is a landlocked country found within France and Spain. France, which is the most popular travel destination in Europe. Here, you can find the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the capital city of France. Then we have Greece, home to the Acropolis, Italy, another popular tourist attraction where the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa can be found. You can also visit the Colosseum in Rome, Malta, Monaco, San Marino, and another landlocked country found within the country of Italy. Spain, a popular place for tourists, where you can visit the Alhambra, the famous palace and fortress in Granada. Spain is also where you can practice flamenco dancing, and finally, in this region, the Vatican City, which is the smallest country not only in Europe, but in the entire world. It is located in the center of Rome, the capital city in Italy, and it is the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church and also the home of the Pope. Isn't that fascinating? A country within a city. So... With Russia being the largest and the Vatican City being the smallest, Europe is home to both the biggest and tiniest countries in the world. Wow! In this region, the Romance or Romanic languages are most commonly spoken, including French, Italian, and Spanish. But you can also hear other languages like Greek and Albanian. Moving on to the southeastern countries of Europe, we have Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Kosovo, Macedonia, Montenegro, Romania, and Serbia. The climate in this area is very hot and dry in the summer and mild and wet in the winter. Wildlife in this area includes bears, wolves, wild pigs, and otters. The Slavic languages are spoken in this region of Europe as well, including Bulgarian, Bosnian, and Serbian. And finally, over in the region of Western Europe, we can travel to Belgium, Ireland, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and Portugal. Living in this area, you can expect cool summers and cool winters, and don't be surprised if you run into a fox. This is also the region home to the lynx and jackal. In this region, you can find the Romanic languages of Portuguese and French, as well as their Germanic languages of Dutch, German, and English. Also, you can hear the Celtic language spoken in some of parts of Ireland, also called Gaelic. Isn't Europe amazing? Did you know that there are more tourists visiting Europe than there are tourists visiting all other six continents combined? Which region do you want to visit? Is there a country that caught your attention? Is there a language you want to learn how to speak? Before leaving on your travels, be sure to practice everything that you learned in our fun online games and quizzes. And remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.